So we are looking at a variety of files. It's all the same image, but if you take a look, we've got a raw file, a TIFF file, a second TIFF file that has two layers in it, a third file, which is a JPEG. Remember, the JPEG is processed in camera. And then the last file is a PSD, one that I worked through ACR, Adobe Camera Raw, and then took to Photoshop. So the reason I'm showing you this is because I want to show you that the raw file, and mine is an ARW, it was shot with a Sony camera. Yours might be a CR2 or an NEF. We already talked about this in an earlier video. But if I click on this, I can come up here to the top of the bridge and click this little icon that looks like a aperture, and it says open in camera raw. So I can open my camera raw file into camera raw, or I can just hit command O on my keyboard to open that. Now, this next file, the TIFF, notice that's available to me again. I can open this TIFF because this TIFF has no layers in it. It's a TIFF file with no layers, only the background layer. The second TIFF file, though, has two layers in it. So it's as if I had already worked it in Photoshop and then saved it as a TIFF file rather than a PSD. And notice this one is not available to me. I can't open it through ACR. I can only open it back into Photoshop. This one, no layers. I can open through ACR and get the use of those controls. This one, nope. Next up, the JPEG. Well, look at this. We can open the JPEG. Now, a RAW file has 16 bits. A JPEG only has 8 bits, so we can only push it so far. So if you push the color in the image further than the information that's available in your file, you're going to see artifacting. But you can do some manipulation, so don't rule it out. Just know that you're limited. And lastly, this PSD, we cannot open this into Photoshop. So that is the one, two, threes of the different types of files and how you can open them through Adobe Camera Raw.